RNG random number generator. You can get a 4, or a 10. But in video games, it can be the difference between getting nothing and getting enough money to last for months. Many games use RNG to give players the adrenaline rush usually seen in gambling. Many people have lost months of work to bad luck, while others have made an equal amount of progress in a minute. And yes, I am talking about Hypixel Skyblock. Where admins rely heavily on an obscene amount of RNG to motivate players to keep playing the game in hopes of good loot. The Legendary Phoenix Pet. A 1 in 5 million item that drops from any mob. The Legendary Dragon Pet. A 0.04% chance drop from any dragon. As long as you place summoning eyes. Not to mention Slayer drops, dungeon loot, yeti fishing, and so on. So who has gotten all of the above? Who is the luckiest player alive on Skyblock? And who is the unluckiest? Join I go by lots of names as we look at the luck spectrum of Skyblock. POV Your name is non ished You are doing your own things and suddenly you get a legendary Phoenix pet. Followed by an epic Phoenix pet. And another. With only 600,000 mob kills. He freaked out. Then he went on vacation for two months. And he returned with the IGN stop overreacting. Which had a 8% chance of happening. Of course, there will be random people who get a legendary phoenix pet after 5 days of playing and killing mobs in the deep caverns. Then they get scammed out of it because they think it's worth 1 million coins when it's actually 100 times more. Then they report it in the wrong section of the forums. Ok we are getting off topic. Here are some lucky randoms who got it quick, without magic find because of their progress in the game. Meta Babe, with 60,000 kills. Giving him a 1% chance of obtaining the dub. And the man with the lowest kills I could find because the auction viewer broke halfway because Jackson is a noob. No I'm cool. With half the kills and the same result. A 0.6% chance of happening. Very cool. On to the next category of luck. Leo CTHL. Flexing Chimps. And Jaspok. The members of what they believe is the luckiest co-op in Skyblock. Getting 4 legendary ender dragons in the span of roughly 3000 dragon fights. And Jaspok obtaining a legendary phoenix pet with 140,000 mob kills. The combined chances of each event together are 0.2%. Totaling over 1.5 billion coins worth of RNG although it is not the luckiest co-op. The randoms who get co-op kicked by scammers are truly the lucky people as they have an excuse to quit Skyblock. Vent Slayer is the finest form of gambling around on Skyblock. It's the only type of Slayer that has an actually valuable rare drop. The Overflux Capacitator. A shiny piece of quartz which you then surround with over 8,000 metric tons of gold ingots to create a red sphere. It is the dream of almost all people who kill this Van Pack Master Tier 4. Unfortunately, only the lucky can obtain the aforementioned Overflux Capacitator before it's too late. And if your name starts with a W, ends with an E, and has URPL between the W and E, it will happen 24 times. Within the span of 22,000 bosses. In case you are wondering how lucky that is, it has a 0.02% chance of happening. POV. The day is February 21st and the pets update has just been released. Everybody rushes to collect all the new pets and see if they are actually not garbage. A young dragon armor man is wandering around the end killing zealots for the summoning eye. But he gets the legendary phoenix pet, only 5 minutes after the update was released. Let's assume he killed 500 mobs in 5 minutes, which seems pretty reasonable, without any magic find. This gives us a probability of 0.01%. Which is way more unreasonable. He now holds the supreme title of first man to obtain legendary phoenix pet. Some people are extremely efficient at getting the overpriced piece of quartz. One such person is Supernatural Mobs, averaging 1 every 140 bosses slain. I guess you could say that Supernatural Mobs luck is not natural. XDDDDDDDD getting 5 of them before hitting level 8, a 0.005% chance of happening. Next, we have X Omega Pig. He likes overflux orbs. But he got more than what he bargained for. 
getting the Kotu rune and overflux from the same boss. He reacted with. OMG. Overflux. A 0.001% chance combination. Dicorse, otherwise known as Hyaun. TMES. O Rice. Rem V2. And Super Viper 15. But we are getting off topic. Winner of a Kinsoft's 2 billion coin giveaway, which had 80,000 people enter. And recipient of two legendary Ender Dragons just from doing a few more fights than Leo CTHL's co op. Over 3 billion coins from RNG mechanics. Totaling 0.0008%. But for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. He was exposed on August 15th for catfishing an autistic boy for thousands of dollars, and would be prevented from joining any top guilds who knew what happened. And everybody now recognizes him. In a bad way. The details will not be explained here because this is not an exposing video so we will be moving on. Non-ished. Yes, he appears two times on this list. As if non-ished getting three phoenix pets was not enough. He obtained the Kotur rune object three times in a row, which has a 0.0001% chance of occurring, which is about 600,000 coins. Wait never mind that isn't very lucky. He freaked out again. Cookie no rookie. Well known member of YouTube. And dragon killing maniac. One day he decided he was going to kill some dragons. Fast forward a few hours. He got two Ender Dragon pets in a row. One epic, and one legendary. Which had a 0.00008% chance of happening. Back when pet luck potions did not exist. Now that you know the luckiest people in the game, it's time to switch perspectives, to the unluckiest people in the game. Remember what I said about the legendary Phoenix pet? With most of the people obtaining them being clueless players who have started two weeks ago. This was the case for JBG is cute. Who obtained the legendary Phoenix, and sold it for 150 million coins. Due to him not having enough space in his bank, he carried 120 million coins around wherever he went, and one day, he bought the groceries, went to his island, and died of fall damage without doing anything. Losing 60 million coins. Auction flipping. A practice that used to bring immense wealth back when each bid had to be 15% higher than the last. Where you lowball dragon armor and swords on dead hours and resell when the player base is active. If you do it right, you can earn tens of millions every day. Unless you accidentally type an extra digit when you bid on items. Which is what a sword did. Bidding 88 million on a superior dragon helmet on accident. A similar incident happened to Cal Sin, bidding over 120 million on a superior dragon chest plate after accidentally typing an extra number. Yikes. Roll back. When your lobby crashes and your stats, purse, and inventory is reset to a few minutes ago. This can be disastrous when combined with depositing or taking massive amounts of coins from your bank. As those coins can be erased if your lobby unexpectedly closes. Some people have been caught by these surprise mechanics. Leading to catastrophe and nuclear fallout. PV1. Who lost 75 million coins when he withdrew everything in his bank just before the lobby went sicko mode. Icon Z came in and made it double. Losing 150 million coins when an exception occurred right as he withdrew everything in his bank. Randomly dropping items. This should be self-explanatory. It's basically when you accidentally drop an item. This occurred to a man named Jave. He suddenly felt like dueling someone. So he changed lobbies right before he got warped into the battle. Wait. 
Did you catch that? Where did his Midas sword go? Find out more at 11 p.m. Not to be outdone on the leaderboard of most coins lost to random bullshit happening on Skyblock. Fugle stepped up his game. Combining the power of rollbacks and randomly dropping items. Dropping a maxed out Midas sword. Losing a superior dragon chestplate to a random rollback. Losing 23 million coins to another random rollback. Getting his entire inventory wiped. There goes 200 million coins. And then he randomly lost his overflux power orb. And then he died and lost 38 million coins. And then he dropped a backpack with 30 summoning eyes. And then he dropped a backpack with 10 aspect of the dragons. And then that's over 400 million coins total lost to unfortunate circumstances. Fortunately, the admins were able to restore his inventory, so that's 200 million coins back. So yeah that's some of the luckiest and unluckiest players on Hypixel Skyblock. If you thought you were lucky or unlucky, I hope this made ruined your day. Regardless of how your day is, have a good day. Goodbye.